between 7th and 9th Streets. There will also be no parking allowed on parts of 7th and 9th and K Streets as well. Jim. Maybe you noticed a new street name as you were out and about in Alexandria today. Starting today, Route 1 through the city will now be known as Richmond Highway. It used to be called Jefferson Davis Highway in honor of the former Confederate leader. But the Alexandria City Council voted unanimously to rename the road back in June. The vote happened after three years of public input. Well, if your daily commute includes the Dulles Toll Road, get ready to pay more. News 4's Amy Cho tells you just how much tolls are going up now that the new year has begun. Starting today, your wallet will feel a little lighter if you plan to take Dulles Toll Road. The main toll plaza is going up by 75 cents and the ramps are going up by 50 cents. So you're looking at up to an extra $1.25 each way or $2.50 round trip. Now that money will go towards maintenance along Dulles Toll Road and also building the Silver Line extension of Metro. And this has been a pretty controversial toll hike. A lot of drivers saying they don't think it's fair that they have to help fund the Silver Line. Some people have said they think air Airlines should have to pay some of the burden, but the toll hikes are here to stay. Now, the last time the tolls were raised was 2014, and highway officials say they hope to not have to raise the tolls again until at least 2023. Reporting along Dulles Toll Road, Amy Cho, News 4. And if you're looking to get out of town this year, you may want to consider booking that plane ticket pretty soon. According to travel search engine Skyscanner, January is the cheapest month to book airfare. If you can't make a decision that fast, February and August are also good months to book. You can save the most money by booking a flight that leaves every very early in the morning. And if your flight is domestic, make sure to book two to three weeks ahead of time. For international flights, book two months before your trip. Mm. Plan ahead. There you go. Early, right. early. Yeah, Although yeah. for 60 degree weather, right. you don't really need to like go to Florida you know. now. I mean, it's true, stay true, right here. True. It's great today. For but the next few hours. Yeah, but it's always good. Exactly. It's always <laughs> yeah. good to plan. Right. So we're talking about planning. We're talking about planning about what we need to wear tomorrow morning when we go to work and what the kids need to wear. Let's just say they need to wear a hat. Maybe not gloves, but just a hat. For your evening planner, things to think about. Right now, we are at 53 degrees outside our studios here. Temperatures will be dropping throughout the evening and cool 43 degrees for 11 p.m. But by tomorrow, many areas will be in the 30s. That's right. So we enjoyed a nice warm start to 2019, but uh -uh, it's not going to last. Outside right now, as I said, we are 53 degrees. The winds from the north, which will usher in that colder air. Winds coming down from the north at 15 miles per hour. But it cleared out all the fog, everyone. So that is good news. With that, again, more of the planning for tonight into tomorrow. Notice that the temperatures, they don't really nosedive, but they slide downward, cooler and cooler. So by tomorrow noon, temperatures will be in the 40s after that start in the 30s. Temperatures outside, a wide range of temperatures across the area. 50 degrees in many areas. We should be about 44 degrees is the normal temperature for the Washington area. Future temperatures in motion as they change. The overnight hours for tomorrow for the morning commute. What to wear. Plenty of 30s to go around, particularly out to our west. Leesburg will feel like 37 degrees tomorrow. Manassas will feel like uh, 31 and then it warms up barely into the 40s. No rain to speak of across the area. We showed you the radar. Cloudy day for your Wednesday throughout the daytime hours for tomorrow. No rain showers, however, but it will will keep the clouds in throughout the day. With that, the chance of rain increases as we get closer and closer to the weekend. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday looks like the key days for some more raindrops. With that, the forecast, everyone, 47 degrees will be the high temperature for the next several days. We still on the warm side, as I said rain chances increase as we approach the weekend with temperatures in the 40s and 50s still above average for this time of year so high temperatures for the most part from 55 degrees down to the 50s 40 degrees for low temperatures so excellent weather as we start the first month of 2019 keep your umbrella handy as we think about friday into saturday after that the rest of the week probably just a jacket we can leave that heavy coat for the next round back to you all right we'll do it clay thank you okay History in the making today at the NASA lab in Laurel. So cool. And despite the shutdown, scientists and other employees showed up for work, unwilling to miss the view of a world billions of miles away. We'll be right back.